Hello everyone, it's Ginger's here. Today I'm going to be doing another bootleg plush review, but it's not actually a bootleg. It's from some company that starts with a V. I just don't know the name. It starts with a V though. I know that. But anyways, this plush is amazing. 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm going to get the pattern what they use. Here is the plush. Shadow Bonnie. Now, many people may not like this plush. In my opinion, I love it so much. 10 out of 10 plush. Really, there's only one thing I can see wrong with it, and that's just uh, something that they, like the factory did. Nothing wrong with the plush, but I'll point that out in a second. So, what really can I explain? The material and everything? I don't even think there is printing. No printing on this plush whatsoever. There's a tag on it. I don't even think there is printing. The material they use, great choice. It's soft and everything. The pattern, they use a spring bonnie plush. It's a little bit weird. But I know they use a spring bonnie plush. So yeah, it's a spring bonnie plush pattern. It's it's really soft. It's kind of squishy. I wouldn't really say that though. I mean, the spring bonnie is more squishy. This one, they I think they overstuffed it. But I mean, I don't really care. It's a pretty cool plush. Now, I don't know what the company's name is. It starts with a V. I know that. Oh wait, I think this is it right here. The V N K V T O. I think that's the company this plush is amazing now let me go ahead and start with the review so compared to toy bonnie uh, pretty same size i think toy bonnie is a little bit taller the with the ears though shadow bonnie is taller so let's go ahead and get into this review <clears throat> so what can i really say this is 10 out of 10 plush the what you call it they embroidered on details the eyes, even right here is embroidered on. When I first saw this, I thought it was a marker. I was like, oh, that's okay, but no, it was embroidered on. I was like, what? The eye, it's a pattern. I know they used spring body, pretty sure. Not for sure though, well, I'm pretty sure they did though. It looks exactly the same. Besides the muzzle was like a little bit bigger, but yeah, the eyes are embroidered. The ears, the ears are perfect. They actually look like, uh, Spring Bonnie ears. This is basically uh, basically Spring Bonnie, but kind of better. Just Shadow Bonnie. So here's the back of the plush with the tag and everything. The ears, the material. I'm not sure what it was called, but it's pretty soft. I know the listing said the material, just don't remember. But yeah. So here's the bow tie. The bow tie is like it's better than Spring Bonnie's. Spring Bonnie's just a piece of fabric. This is actually like a Bonnie bow tie, kind of like Toy Bonnie. So look, his bow tie is sewed on, as you can see, like a normal Bonnie. This one is the same thing. So this plush is really cool, 10 out of 10. Even with the problem, which I'll point out in just a second, it's still 10 out of 10. And it's not the plush's fault. It's not the company, or kind of is the company's, but I don't really care. I can fix it easily. But yeah, so now let's point out the problem, the teeth. If you notice, they keep, they glued it down. So this is sewed on, but they glued it down and it left a glue stain, but that's no problem to be honest. I could fix it with just a little bit of paint or I could redo it, but I'd rather fix it with paint. I don't actually just want to leave it like this. I know it looks kind of weird, but I would rather leave it like this because I don't want to mess up the plush. This plush is a 10 out of 10, no errors. They see they used it, they colored not colored, sewed it with the same oh that's a piece of thing that was on mine. Or it was next to another plush, but they use the exact same thread. I can't find any white spots. And normally bootlegs would use like a white spot or a white thread. I can't find any. They use actually colored thread. There's no holes, nothing. This is an actually uh, actually the best shadow body plush that a bootleg company has made or a company has made. I love this plush, 10 out of 10. I know there's a one bootleg that looks really bad, but I mean, I think that was the first one. And also, I think they use, I think Maso 777, I'm not sure of the full name, but I know it's a YouTuber. They use his edit, and still, this is a pretty cool plush. I love this plush so much. And yeah, that's all, that's it for this review. Just wanted to show the plush, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.